have a gift the gift of discernment of spirit i can see the forces in territories i would have told you a few stories if we were just ministers there was never a time i did three days dry fasting that god spoke never so i've stopped doing it the one i do now is like 200 days of eating once in a day you will come before the 200 days 264 days 245 days they're in the mist the last one i did it was 264 that he came when i did 197 he spoke to me and said i can see that you are praying i said what do you mean by this i've been here for one and a now please help me tell your neighbor he's a king you, you, you. They, when you start they will create a calendar for you that okay it is this day that i will have chance for him i'm attending to other matter let him continue let him continue most of you will now do seven days dry and leave you, they, you, are, you don't understand where you are you don't know where you are uh, you don't know where you are So experientially, I've discovered that dry fasting doesn't work for me. You do seven days, you do three days. No, I, I've stopped that. In your own spiritual journey, when you start your journey, you will know what works for you. There are people in our midst that if they go on three days dry, they can be raptured into the heavens. You have, that means the same way, the Bible says that we need to study our body so that every man needs to study your own body so that you can carry yourself in holiness that's the same way you are going to be a student of your spiritual life so that you will know what works for you because in the school of the spirit we don't attend classes together the classes are custom made they are designed for you according to your calling and according to the texture of grace that you are being modeled to ultimately carry so in my own calling i am being shaped to carry divine authority the kind of authority that will equip me to become a spiritual warrior so if satan is doing something in the neighborhood i'm concerned because i'm raised for that kind of job to fight to kill to destroy that's the shape so it also justifies the training it also justifies the, the strategy oh you're not with me you must find yourself in the spirit you must find yourself you are a unique entity in the spirit and you must find yourself you must find the utensils and the tools that God has ordained that you will carry. That will be an equipment through which you can realize the glory of your calling. Because every calling, whether teacher, pastor, evangelist, prophet, has his own glory. And you must find yours. So I came into this experience of angels. And he began to teach me different types. Because there's one that comes and that one comes with fire. There's another one that came that came to activate my prophetic ministry. So that's, are you there? In the book of Revelation chapter 1, you will notice John told us his experience. He says, the revelation of Jesus, which God gave unto him to show his servants things which must shortly come to pass. And he sent and signified it by his angel unto his servant John. The word signified in that scripture in Greek means by sign language so the book of are you with me that book of revelation was signified to john through spiritual signs and the spiritual signs came through the vehicle of an angelic personality meanwhile one of the angels has come no don't worry just leave me don't rejoice don't say amen no So one of them has come just so that you will believe me because I know you don't believe so so that you will believe that's why I want to do what I want to do but my lecture has not finished this angel that has come here 
He came with a linen garment, a cloth, a piece of cloth that is like linen, shining and glistering. <coughs> and the reason why the angel came with this linen garment is because there is a lady that is in Amis. This lady is like 23 years old. When you were 13 years old, God chose you to be one of the functionaries that will carry his presence from place to place. And this presence is what is symbolized by this linen garment. Now, if what I'm saying is true, in the next 23 seconds, anywhere that lady is seated, this angel is going to cover her with the garment in 23 seconds. I'll be counting so that now so what I'm doing now is because of the education you see the same way I picked that the angels are here there's also a very terrible so the hand of God will be strong on that lady because today is the day of our commissioning the linen garment is going to rest upon her and to rest with intensity have you found the girl oh usher they are they are supposed to be more than one oh. have you found the second one is there any usher on this on this level any usher on this level because look around you will find another one on that level now, can you still stay with me? Just stay with me. You are not with me. Stay. So, the reason why I did this is because of your own belief. So that you will know that I had such encounters and received education from the Holy Spirit about this realm. Huh? If you know what I'm talking about, uh -huh. if you know what I'm talking about, we can actually stop rain with this, this matter. Yes, we can stop. Maybe we'll have a crusade, something that is legitimate. And then rain wants to come. We can stop it. And it will still rain somewhere here. It will still rain close to the crusade. But it will not rain on the ground. I began a fasting and prayer. And sincerely, I'm not trying to advertise my spirituality. If that's what you see, I apologize that's not my intention hallelujah so I began this fasting and prayer and you know I was not taught the elders that knew the truth did not tell us they did not tell us that before it would take time before Jesus will come to you no but you can see angel oh no are you with me now God will give me the grace to practicalize what I'm teaching you this night so that you will know I did fasting for like seven months four angels came into my, my room I couldn't see them with my physical eyes but I knew in my spirit that there were beings inside of the room so I now asked God I said if you are responsible for these things that are happening here let heat this heat I'm sensing let it come on my head which it happened that was when I was seven and I was teaching for um, further mathematics and mathematics and physics so I calculated the probability of of it being <laughs> the probability of that touch being from God I calculated it it was slim I said I'm sorry this I'm not sure because even in probability, this one you did now is not proof enough that you are the one that did it. That if it is you, move the thing, put it here. It happened. You know, I was not taught. I made another final request and it, it and it did it. So I now said, I'm sorry, it's not as if I'm testing you, but you know. While I was apologizing, that was when I saw the first angel. 
he opened my spirit and I was able to see the first angel. Now, if that angel comes, I will know. Don't worry. It, the angel... Wait, let's make it come. Um, wait. Uh -uh. You are... Oh, you are... We, we can't proceed. We can't proceed. Now, now, listen, listen, listen. Um, I have preached like this before. I went back to the room. And in prayer, God now said, Who were they clapping for? And I couldn't answer. So, you to protect me so that I will protect you. May the Lord give you understanding. Now, after seven months, <coughs> an angel, angels began to visit me. I started understanding how they operate. I started understanding how they communicate and how to communicate with them. Oh, have you studied your Bible? Zachariah was communicating with Gabriel. So it's, you, you can actually communicate with them. And they communicate with you. So instead of me continuing my fasting, because it is God I wanted to encounter, he released angels and I was satisfied. I operated in that angelic dimension for five years before it occurred to me that this was not what I was looking for. I'm still talking about the organic level, the organic dimension. Because it's the Holy Spirit that will give you the power of discernment inside of your spirit to be able to discern the presence of an angelic being. It means the Holy Spirit will introduce you to spiritual beings. I'm still talking about the organic dimension. Most of, oh my God, hallelujah. They, they, they are, they are wonders in the realm of God just like there are wonders in the realm of GSM and you got an Apple phone Android um, Samsung Ultra 2023 you got it because of the new features so that you can explore the GSM network more perfectly so you cast away your Nokia 3310 because Nokia 3310 could not explore it adequately that's why you were looking for a more sophisticated phone. Are you with me? There are technologies that are domiciled in that realm. And these technologies are for us to explore. Now, one of the things that you must note in this conference is that God wants to provoke us to explore God the way as astronauts explore space. So when I began to press, angels began to visit me in the room. And I realized that it is the presence of angelic beings. Have you ever been in service before and you forgot time? Has it happened to you before? Okay, or you were praying. Praying and then you forgot. Ah, time has. It happens when angels visit. You lose all sense of time. You receive an impartation. An impartation of their own dimension time becomes nothing so you you didn't feel when time was passing because you were plunged into a reality a depth that was superior to time something that existed before time was created after five years I realized it was God I was looking for I was not taught, I was not told that when you are about to have an encounter with God, what he does is that he releases angels to begin to visit you. If you can contain the aura of God that is around the angels, if you can contain it, then you are being prepared to be able to stand before his majesty. I'm talking about the organic side the living side there are realities trapped in that side and your recreated human spirit is a vehicle through which you can contact because the idea 
of the rebuilding of the tabernacle of David is setting up a system where we can assess God without the protocols of the temple. And that's the arrangement that has been made available to us in the New Testament. But the problem is the average believer doesn't want to explore. And I'm telling you, if there's anyone that knows the realm of the spirit here, your encounters can become a reason why you don't walk the journey to the end. Just because you don't discern the purpose for which the encounters come. As, as critical as having encounters are in the journey of a Christian, it helps deepen your conviction. It helps deepen your faith. It helps you to become at home with your ideals even though nobody else believes in your values encounters bring that kind of depth but you see you must understand the meaning of the encounters you have had so that it doesn't become a barricade that blocks you from the ultimate purpose that God had in mind I can walk into the congregation now because the second one has come and I can minister in this congregation prophetically for another four hours non-stop different things will be happening here that's the angelic realm it has opened i can do that for four hours all these people here eh? they will be under their seats all this all this i can do that it's the angelic realm i i know it i was trained to understand it but you see the reason for the fasting was because i wanted touch God to know the mind of God to know what he wanted to know what his desire was because there's a difference between success and fruitfulness in success you are using God to accomplish your own objective but in fruitfulness you are allowing God use you to achieve achieve his own objective so you can use the power of God and the anointing of God and prophetic anointing to achieve your own purpose. You can use it to get money, to build a house, to do stuff. What you are doing is that you are successful in the eyes of men, but you are not yet fruitful. The reason for which God gave you the anointing, it has not yet started happening. May we not be carried away and distracted by the very gifts that God has given us may we not be blinded to God by the things that God has given us either material or spiritual in the name of Jesus Christ so I continued in the fast and I discovered the second key is called obedience the more you sacrifice to obey the grace will increase the more you sacrifice to obey, the grace increases. Oh my God. Oh my God. You know, I told you one demon came here. You will, you will see it before we close. You will see it. You will see it. You will see it. We do not boast, we know Jesus. We know Jesus. We are called to preach his counsel. And he comes to back up the words that he has put upon our mouth. Hallelujah. So when I began to operate at the second level, I now discover God, if he loves you, he begins to give you instructions. The former three times have I made audio to fill us of all that Jesus began both to do and to preach. Until the day in which he was taken up. After that through the Holy Ghost he had given commandments unto his apostles whom he had chosen. So the proof that you are one of his apostles that he has chosen is that he will give you commandments. He will give you commandments about your financial life. He will give you commandments about your prayer life. 
One time he came to me and said, if you want to see me from now henceforth, look for me in the night. It doesn't mean it's bad to pray in the daytime, but he gave me a commandment. And my commandment is not a doctrine. It's not something that I impose on people. This is my own personal walk with God. Look for me in the night. So I start in the night. 10 o'clock. When, when sleep is coming, I shake it. Every sacrifice that you pay in order for you to obey gives you access to unlimited resources in the realm of the spirit. So each and every one of us must learn how to practice obedience. Obedience from what you see in the Bible first. Do you pay tight? Do you honor him with your substance? With the first fruits of all your increase? With the basic obedience, you make it a practice. Because the proof that you remember the word of God is that he's, he's obeying it. Because if you don't obey it, you will forget it. If you obey it, it becomes part of it, the realities that your heart has handled, your heart has contained. If you are a believer that is determined to perpetually obey God, are you there? You will begin to discover that you become sensitive to the things that God wants. God can come to you and say, stop watching Champions League. Oh, I know, I know. I know you don't know that I used to be a footballer. I know. Venerable, I know you don't know that. I used to play number 10. I was a midfielder. Yes. I can still play till, till now. It's just that I discovered that the left leg was dead. It's only right. So I knew I won't go far. <laughs> so for me, football was something more than the ordinary. And then he came and visited me one day and said, it's time for you to stop watching football. I died. But when I agreed, he removed football from my heart. Even if, even if I sit before it now, it's boring. But it was something. He knows what can constitute an idol. And the instructions that he will give you is consistent with the likely idols that you can have in your heart. So I traveled to one country and when I got into that country, I got in by 2 a.m. in the morning was ushered into the hotel by 3 50 a.m. in the morning and Jesus comes into my room he came with a brightness that was so intense that had the capacity to blind the human eye so I had to bend and to lie on the floor and he, he passed my room for 9 to 12 seconds 9 to 12 seconds and he told me the youth the youth the youth he said it four times he said use your power of sight to deliver them from destruction and i will open the gates of nations to you so i left that country when i came back i started hopping from campus to campus preaching teaching manifesting the power of god preaching teaching salvation Holy Ghost baptism power. I went, I did this for 12 years and went around Nigeria six times. Because of a nine to 12 seconds encounter, the meaning of my life for 12 years was captured in a moment of nine to 12 seconds encounter with Jesus. It was when I had that encounter that I knew the purpose for which I was given attached those angels for apostolic ministry oh you are not with me it is there is a temptation for you to think that the first consignment of anointing that you have is the ultimate anointing it's a test run many people many people truncate at the first level and they never go beyond it in fact some some become 
carnal and enter into sin and God withdraws even the anointing. I've seen men. The next time you quote that scripture, the calling of God, the gift of God, I've seen a man that moved in grace and he got into serious immorality. Today he's flat. There is no anointing on his life. But he's still alive. So you, the next time you quote that scripture, just know that you might be quoting it with a wrong understanding. Because I've seen the grace of God, the anointing of God withdrawn from a man. And the man is still alive. Not just one man. Many men. I've seen it. After 12 years, I was preaching somewhere in Uyo. And he came again. He said, go and resign. I was in the oil industry for 16 years. When it was time for me to move into the management Kada, Jesus comes to me and says, resign now. Do you know what it means to be in the management Kada? You, you don't know. It means that the government will give you 20 million for house rent every year. 20 million. That's what it means. People can kill for it. Your monthly salary will be 1.8 million. And if by any means you sleep outside of your home because of national service, you are paid in dollars for one night, 24 hours. Oh, you are paid in dollars. And your house rent is 20 million. It will come in January. That was where I was going. The great one came and said, resign. Resign. You know the first time he said, if I'm faithful to the youth, he will open the gates of nations. So he said I should resign because it's time to go to the nations. I cannot go to the nations and do this job. So resign. And the moment I resigned on the 5th of October 2020, the anointing doubled. When I minister now, it's, an, it's, it's a platform of trembling. Because I need to go after this meeting and stand before him and say, was it you I served? You don't know this place that I'm talking about. It's a sacred place. It's a slippery place. The bones of many men that didn't know how to order their steps in that corridor are lying by the side of the, of, of the pathway. 